Lola, I don't know what to film today. I don't know what to do. I've run out of ideas. I've done beauty tutorials. I've done favorites. What can I do today? I just don't know. You'll think of something. Yeah. Yes. I don't know. I'll get it. Okay. Oh, it's for you. For me? Yes. It's Ooh. a package. Look. A package? Yes. A package. Ooh. Fumi. Let's see what is happening. Ula scissors, please. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Thank you very much. Let's open up, open up, open up. <laughs> Look. I wonder what's in here. Ah! Juvia's, please. Oh. Look at Juvia's, please. I think I know what this is. I know, I think I know what this is. Look at the packaging. Look, look. And look at all the confetti. I love this part. Look. Okay, okay, okay. Brushes. I love this. This is a brush set of five. Let's open it up and see. And I know these very well, as a matter of fact, because I've seen them on their website. I think it retails for $19. It's a beautiful aubergine, purple burgundy color, and it has all the details on it. Juvia's Place, and this is a tippered brush. So I think you can use this for the highlighters, you can use this for a blusher, for an all over face finish. It's a face brush, love this. And then the next brush, let me just open it out for you guys. Let me just turn it around. Fabulous. And this is an angle contour brush. Well, you can actually see that. I love that. I love that. Ooh, I love it. And then we've got the third brush. This is a blender brush. Fantastic. Love this. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Got the fourth one, and this is a precision brush. And ladies, this is when you are doing your transition color and you want like a sharper line, you can always use this. Fantastic, and it's so dense, it's so soft. Just look, just look guys. Fantastic. I mean, Murphy brushes are great, but I think Juvia's brushes are better. I really do. And this is an angled brush. I already know this. I love this. Yep. And this is an angled brush and it is called the JI29. I'm going to put pictures in for you guys so you can see. But this is an angled brush. Absolutely fantastic. Love this. So let me present the five of them again. And these are the five brushes that I just got in the package from Juvia's. Please let me put it this way. Oh my God. Thank you, Juvia's. So what do we have here? We have from the Saharan collection. Yes, my loves. And this is the Saharan eyeliner. Let's read behind the box and see what it says. The Saharan eyeliner sophisticated at its peak, creating a perfect wing liner never felt so good. The Saharan gel liner kit contains two gel liners and a perfect chiseled and handcrafted double liner brush. Creamy, highly pigmented to make any look refined wow look at the packaging look at the colors so this is what it looks like it's a pink with a mint green there you go and then right here you have this is from the fulani tribe i know this because i read about this look at how gorgeous so let us open it this is the presentation so it's got the two gel liners which i'm going to try out right now plus the angled brush so let me open it up and this is a brown gel liner that i can see and it's got like a foil cover on top of it i'm going to peel that off and there you have the gel liner right there and this is a brown literally the color of my complexion literally this is the angled brush it's got this angle it's got this other side too it's got two sides to it and then let me just put some onto the inside of my hands wow look that's what it looks like absolutely beautiful wow i'm going to put it on the other side of my hand because i'm kind of curious it's so creamy and it glides on beautifully Yes, it's definitely a gel. Just look at that. Just look at that and then look at it. That is gorgeous. 
so it's pretty dark. I love it already. I'm thinking of all kinds of ideas for this. I think I'm going to use this also on my brow. So if the brow is this gorgeous and so pigmented and so creamy, then this is going to be fantastic. Again, it has the foil on top of it. We're gonna take that off. It's easy to peel off. And there you have the black. I am so happy that they are doing this. So, 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 so happy. Wow, wow, we kazawi. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Wow, 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 wow. This is gorgeous, guys. Look, look. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Wow. Fantastic, fantastic. It is as black as night. I don't know what to tell you. It applies on beautifully. You just saw me just add, make my liner thicker. I shouldn't have, but I just could not help myself. Let me just even this one out a bit. Oh my God, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, fantastic, Juvius. Congratulations. I don't know what this retails for, but I know it will be on the website. I was on their page yesterday or day before yesterday. So I know that this is launching today. Yes, guys, this is launching today or tomorrow. I think she brought the date forward because of the high demand. So guys, look out for this. This is fantastic. I love this. Okay, okay, okay. Then, guys, what do we have? Uh, the Sahara Juvia's palette. Of course, we must open it. So let me open it ever so gently. Ta-da! Love, 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 love. And there you have the beautiful inspired Fulani girl right there. These are the colors. Let me take this um, plastic film off. And these are the colors here. So right here, we can tell that we've got four, eight, and 12. And this is the Saharan palette. Before I go any further, I really think it's important to find out where Juvia's Place got their inspiration from. All righty. The Saharan palette was inspired by the Fulani tribe in the sub-Sahara regions located in western parts of Africa, a tribe very close to our hearts. Colors were inspired by face painting from special celebrations. The black eyeshadow is symbolic as it represents facial tattoos and extremely dark tattooed lips, which are very evident in this particular tribe. Color selection and creation were inspired by the sands in the dry regions of the desert. Lastly, metallic shimmery shades were attributes from jewelry and tradition attires. And so we have it right here. So what do we have in this palette? We have four mats, and I think the Chad is one of the mats. We can also see that the Katsina is a mat. We can also see that Jamila is a mat, and we can also see that Sokoto is a mat. On top of that, we have two satins, and the two satins that I can see are Zoya and Iman, which is a wonderful, wonderful name, and the rest are foil metallics. I am so proud of Juvia's Place. Congratulations to you. I think in also creating beautiful makeup, you're teaching the world about Africa. I am West African. My mother is from Senegal, Gambia, and my father is Nigerian. When I was in high school, I spent a few years, three years, I can't remember, in the North. Yes, in the North where they dressed like this and they had the black lips. So I identified so very much with this palette because that was the first experience I had with tattoos. The women tattooed their arms, their legs, their faces. It was amazing. I'm going to put some pictures up for you guys to see. So as a fellow African, this touches my heart so very much. On top of the fact that they shipped this to me, Ula, they ship this or from the date on the box that we can see from the 23rd, 24th. And I got it here in London in less than a week. 
congratulations to you guys because they are still a very new brand that is going global i see them in allure magazine i see them in so many magazines they're getting so much recognition because of the quality and the standard of their palettes all of their palettes were african inspired and i thought how super cool and for them to get to this point where they have a pr list and they're sending out you know their product to you know influencers like me i am terribly honored i am so very proud of you guys i have their other palettes and i just wanted you to gauge them you've got the big masquerade palette let me just open it so that you guys can see it's a mess because <laughs> i use it every day the big masquerade palette four eight 12 16 pans and then you've got the nubian palette too as you can see right here three six nine twelve big pans gorgeous and look at the size of this and then you've got the nubian original i wanted to give you a comparison because this is the saharan palette and this is the nubian original palette so when you open it up right here you've got 12 pans and then this one right here also you have 12 pans but this one seems to be just a little bit bigger and it's got a glow glossier finish as you can see all gorgeous colors so they are very much into that beautiful sunshine in your life good happy feel which i adore so now my loves what are we going to do we are going to swatch yes we're going to swatch. so we're going to go across yes so we're going to go from sokoto all the way to kia from zoya to senegal from chad to fula yeah okie dokie so the first color as you can see is sokoto and it is a beautiful matte bright orangey red i think it is fantastic for the lid and you can mix it up it's really really powerful and it's very much like the morocco in the other palette let me just double check for you guys hold on yes morocco in the nubian palette then we have wadabi wadabi is a true gold it's a true yellow gorgeous gold and i think that it is absolutely beautiful for the tear duct then we have bororo bororo is like a metallic cranberry it's like a metallic cranberry and it is gorgeous for the lid as well yeah then my loves we have kia and kia is a blackened metallic uh, color it's also very much like a gunmetal yeah yes i think for me like it's a lovely gorgeous gunmetal then we have zoya and zoya like i was telling you is one of the satins it's very pale and you have to put in a couple of uh, stripes on it doesn't show up as much as these colors you have to go over it a couple of times for it to really pop up then the next one that we have is iman and i just thought amaze balls fabulous fabulous and it's that iridescent white it's, it's got flecks of purple almost so to speak jamila and jamila is a burnt orange it's very deserty it reminds me very much of the saharan desert it reminds me very much of a browner orange and it's a rust as ula said a rust and i agree 100 percent then we have senegal senegal is right beside my mother's country gambia and it's beautiful for me i just feel like it's a darker gold it's more of a bronzy gold so to speak i would call it that and then we have chad and gorgeous just look at how beautiful this is it is a gorgeous suit black chimney black and for me I felt that it applied very well. It's very soft. All of the colors, all of the pans are soft. So there's very minimum fallout, which I loved. And then we have Katsina. And Katsina is a very sandy, sandy, mattish, beige, muted brown, so to speak. That's what I would call it, like a very sandy, nudish brown. I loved it. Then we have Lulu gorgeous this is like my little rose gold that's what i would call it this is my little rose gold and i just thought how beautiful gorgeous 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 beautiful on the lids tear duct works and this beautiful pink which is called fula and it's all short for fulani i want to think also i would say very short for fulani beautiful gorgeous metallic uh, foil pink and it works it absolutely works so these are the lid swatches in the palette 
So those were the swatches, darlings. I hope you enjoyed it. And of course, this Wednesday, this coming Wednesday, I'm going to use this palette and I'm going to have a fantastic makeup tutorial for you guys. Don't forget, I have a 10% discount on all Juvia's beauty products and that applies to this. They sent me this. I did not pay for this. It is not an ad. The love is mutual. That's all that I can say. So we have a fantastic relationship. There was no money exchanged. I just love Juvia's palette. They love me. And so this is where we're at. The 10% discount applies also to this. It is launching today. Go out there and get your palette. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful combo. And it is so different from their other palettes. For sure, the big thing for me here was Chad, which was the black one. Now, I didn't care. I really didn't care. But I got a lot of people saying, oh, I wish we had black. So it was a complete palette. And I just thought, it's a complete palette. If you want a black eyeshadow, you can go anywhere else. So I think maybe they heard that and they put that into this palette. For me, I'm a pink lover. Love, love, love pink. It is so hard to find that particular color. As you can see from my eyelids, I love pink. I love those oranges. It pops off on my complexion and they put those two colors that I love three times. They put in the Lulu, which was like the rose gold, which I love. They put in the pink. They also put in another pinkish cranberry and then they put in the chad. There, just right there for me, I was sold. The fallout is minimal and you can also use your fingers on the foil colors. So it retails for $28 and the good news, darlings, is that this palette is available at 4 p.m. Eastern. Because of popular demand, Juvia's Place decided to bring the date for the release sooner than later for you guys so that's it guys go for it i think it is a beautiful palette inside and out i love the color i love the packaging thank you so much juvia's place so so very much for bringing out the queen in all of us and teaching us the beauty of africa Thank you so much. Guys, what can I tell you? Uh, tune in in the, in the next couple of days. Wednesday, I want to say Wednesday. Don't hold me to it. Wednesday. And I'm going to do a makeup tutorial on this. Thank you so much for the package. And don't forget the gel liners. And I'm sure Juvia's Place will put in the price point for these. Amazing balls. Loved it. Thank you. Yeah. Now, we're not going to have uh, a quote of the week today. This is something that's very close to my heart because um, I am experiencing this around me for the past couple of years. Ladies, go and get tested. Get your breast checked for breast cancer, for ovarian cancer. Have pap smears, have checkups, regular checkups. Life is so very short and a little checkup could save your lives could save your lives. Get your breast checked and make sure that you get pap smear. Cancer is no joke. All right, loves? Stay beautiful inside and out. Get checked and get the palette. Bye. Well, let's say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>